profile icon, button. Menu, button. Mods, reset to default. Readability panels, checkbox, checked, set gather point, 14 of 18. Read a reset key, button. Choose default. Mod, hotkey, 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 graphics, audio, button, audio, button, menu narration, checkbox, checked, change weapon, 2 of 18. We are without a leader. The dead King of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious King of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. We must act soon. If we are to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary.
The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now right click near the blue flag. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go to the next flag, where you will meet some allied soldiers. Kid? To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your oh. units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Right click the outpost to attack it. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English here. raids. Keep following the path to the village. Oh. Oh. Home sweet home. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Done cut. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right-click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you'll have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. Scotland has soldiers now if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, you will need See to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood and 50 gold. Kid? The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town centre. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food.
Great. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather wood, click a villager, then right click a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Good job. You now have enough wood. Good. You found some gold. Beat fear. Kia bonage. Beat fear. Kia to. Nianaga, Nianaga. Erlov. Tiediga. Beat fear. Forgera, Tiediga. Beat fear. Tiediga. Beat fear. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. Edward Longshanks, for all its disrepute, has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective, if not cruel and ruthless. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. With that, I could call it a battle, but it was truly more than a massive. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray that we can be ready when Longshanks comes. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the town of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up spear, sword and bow. We must transform these shepherds into soldiers. We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. To win, you will need to create four militia. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center. Then click the Create Villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. It takes time for the villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area at the bottom of your screen. Good job. The villager has appeared next to your town centre. Now, create another villager. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a villager. Click the buildings button. Click the build house button. Then click where you want to build the house. Good job. Try building another house. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current and supportable yeah. population. Other buildings are made just like houses. Try building a barracks. The barracks is a military building. If more than one villager builds a building, Kid. it will Rob go up Wiga. faster. Rob Kia. Barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks, then click the Create Militia button. 
Selecting different buildings or units yeah. gives you different options right. in the lower left corner of the screen. That's one militia unit. Create three more and you will have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click the barracks and quickly click the Create Militia button three more times to make three soldiers in a row. Now that you have a few soldiers, you will be able to defend this area against English attacks. Bit fear. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king is yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias can only get us so far. We're going to need more advanced weapons. Rumours creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland. His great sword driving through earth, man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can stall the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now our smiths are forging swords and fletchers are crafting arrows and crossbow bolts. The English Fair use enough. very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance to the oh. feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going to need it's to research here. some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, oh. researching loom makes your villagers harder to kill. Oh. To research loom, click the town center, then click the research loom Kogo. button. Kogo. Oh. Good. Researching yeah. technology costs you resources, but improves yeah. your civilization. Forgera. While Forgera. researching, you can Kid. put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Beat fear. Kid. Nienige. Forgera. Forgera. Kid, oh, air love, Tiediga, Kia. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. Kid, toe, cart, toe, toe, cart. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes, Boy. villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. Air love. Boonage. 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 Oh, 
here, Digger. Cool. Cool. Card. Key. Cool. Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a barracks, so now have your villagers build a mill. Kid? The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food source. Forgera. Cart. Selgere. Kid, bid fear. Tall. Tall. Bid fear. Now you can advance from the Dark Age to the Tau. Feudal Age. Click your town center, then click the Advance Tau. to Feudal Age button. Good. You're on your way to the feudal age. Air love. Two arms. The English are making a sneak attack. Bargaret. Kogo! Kogo! Now that the battle is over, create some extra militia units at the barracks to replenish your forces. Kid? Tall. Tall. Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization, the Idle Villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the Feudal Age, you can upgrade your Militia to Men at Arms. Click the Barracks, then click Upgrade to Men at Arms. Upgrading to Man at Arms will change all your Militia units to the more powerful Men at Arms. Kid. Selgre. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. The English are no match for you. Longshanks has invaded, stormed and sacked the city of Perth. Worse, he has captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. We cannot bring about a victory in battle soon. The Scottish armies will be too demoralised to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish that he would bring his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle.
time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the River Forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly forged army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villagers at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. You've found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Kia. Shh. 
Kia. Rob Wooya. food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Now click the dock and build a fishing ship. Kid. Born it. Click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Once you have gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age at your town centre. If you are low on food, build some additional farms. Selgra. Selgra. 